The research conducted in CAR uh, addresses really driver safety in a couple of different ways. One is very direct, and that's with systems that uh, warn the driver or take action in some way to directly help improve the safety of the driver, and it's really about avoiding crashes in that case. The other way is really looking at uh, how to help drivers not become distracted or have systems, develop systems in such a way they don't create distractions so that drivers can remain focused on the roadway and avoid crashes simply because they're paying attention to driving and not to some secondary task happening in the vehicle. So we've looked at things like uh, indirect visibility systems which use cameras, uh, starting to see more of those and put the image in the dashboard. Um, also, typical the backup beeper alarms that you hear a lot from uh, park aid systems, as well as more advanced systems which start to break the car to help you avoid the object if you don't see it. And then there is, of course, what happens after the vehicle has applied the brakes to avoid an object. How do we then transfer control back to the driver in a safe way to be sure they don't just continue backing over the object that may be there? A project that we've been able to work with for some time with NHTSA is looking at human factors in connected vehicles. It's very focused on the interaction between the car and the vehicle in this future connected world. Uh, some of those applications are like imminent safety, doing things like forward collision warning, blind spot, applications where we are looking at the driver's response to an imminent threat. But there's other types of connectivity as well, more infotainment or things that uh, will help bring like, kind of like the internet into your car. Uh, where you'll get new features that maybe enrich the driving experience, but then there's questions of whether or not those could cause distraction or decrease safety. So we're helping to address those sorts of problems uh, ahead of time to be sure that safety benefits we get from imminent crash warnings aren't undermined by, say, some of these more convenience and fun features that uh, may unfortunately decrease safety. So we're making sure the two are working together to improve safety overall.